everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing the brakes on the Z3. Uh, it's a BMW 1996 year model. So uh, any E36, I believe probably any E30, any E46 is gonna be pretty much the same procedure. So let's get started. Let me show you what you need to get the job done. So this is everything I picked up to do these brakes. Uh, I got all this stuff from Rock Auto. I believe the rotor set, it, they came as a pair. It was around 90 bucks. Brake pads, I don't really remember. They were 20, 30 bucks, something like that. So anyway, we'll start out with the rotor. It comes as a set, and as you can see, it's marked. This is for the front passenger side. I've already done the other side. So uh, the reason it tells you that is because of the direction of the uh, holes and of the slots. So you wanna make sure you get it on the right side. Uh, this is the box that came out of here, the Power Stop Evolution True Cast Slotted and Drilled Rotors. The quiet cast brake pads from Bosch. As far as tools, you'll need a seven millimeter Allen. Uh, you can just have a reg regular Allen wrench, but I've, I've got that one that fits on my ratchet. And then I've got a six millimeter uh, Allen wrench that you will use to remove the bolt that holds the rotor on. I've got some caliper grease. Uh, I like to use this on the pins that hold the caliper to the caliper bracket and then uh, a brush yeah. i'm going to use a drill school bus going by i'm going to use a drill uh, with a wire brush on it but you can use this so to clean the front of the wheel hub once you get the old rotor off you'll want to clean that the front of the wheel hub and you can use a brush or a drill with a brush either way works uh, some kind of bungee cord to hold the caliper up and then uh, some kind of clamp that you can use to push the piston back into the caliper uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be you know a uh, a clamp like this this is the one i'm going to use you can use regular c clamp or, or whatever so yeah that's everything you need and we'll get started so we'll need to remove this allen head here allen head screw now what i've done is i've got a stick in the passenger compartment there with uh it's braced up against the seat and it has a uh it's one ends on the brake pedal and one end is up against the seat to hold pressure on the brake pedal just to put some force on this so when i try to loosen this bolt it makes it a little bit easier so it's just a six millimeter allen just go in there just loosen it like that now you don't want to take it all the way off right now just make sure that it's loose so after you take your caliper off uh, when you take the caliper off, you don't necessarily want <clears throat> your rotor to just fall off. So, something else I miss, uh, we're going to have to use a 16 millimeter socket to remove the bracket so that we can get the caliper off, but I'll show you that here in a minute. So, that's going to be the next step. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen... Uh, this nut here and there's one back here also so there's two of them and they're 16 millimeter so we'll loosen those up and I've got the wheel turned just to make it easier to get access to them and uh, then you'll need a 16 millimeter wrench or socket to get that off they're on there pretty good also whenever you put those back you need some blue Loctite on them so yeah, I'll try to get the camera set up and get those loose.
All right, so I've got them broke loose with the breaker bar. I don't want to take them off completely yet. Just want to get them loose. They can be a bear sometimes to get loose, so I just like to break them first. Okay. The next thing we're going to have to do is there's two pins that hold the caliper to the bracket. You can see one's located here, one's located right here. So you take these little caps off, just kind of wiggle it. You can see the, there's the cap. Get the other one loose. Make sure you don't lose these, you want to put these back. So then I'll take my seven millimeter Allen key on my ratchet. Loosen that up. Let's get the other one. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to set the camera down. I'm try not to block this too much with my leg. Sorry if I do. So I'm gonna keep my little bungee cord handy here and we will unscrew these bolts. So those are out. Now we should be able to slide the caliper off. I don't know if this bottom one's all the way out. Sorry, I'm trying not to block the camera. And it won't come out all the way just by turning it like this. Okay, that should be all the way out. Now let's... I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver and kind of move these bolts stand by. So I've just got a flathead screwdriver here. I'm gonna take care not to damage the threads. Just wanna kinda of push these bolts out. There's that one. I don't know if I can see the bottom one. There it is. There we go. So. Let's get the caliper off, you know what? I might still have that bar on the brake. Let me go take that off. <laughs> so, did have a little bit of brake pressure pressure left from when I had the bar on there. So we'll just use the screwdriver to kind of kind of pry the caliper off. Let's take this clip out. Before I let the caliper loose. Anyway, I hope you can still see what's going on. Let me get my leg out of the way. Now, pull the caliper. So, there's one brake pad fell out. The other one just clips into the uh, piston there. We will hang that out of the way for now. Got my caliper hanging there. Now we're gonna take the other two bolts out. Uh, the two that we that we loosened first, uh, one's right there, one's right there, that's the, with the 16 millimeter. And that's gonna remove this caliper bracket and that's gonna allow us to take the rotor off. 
So let's do that now. So there we go. So there's our caliper bracket removed. We'll go ahead and finish taking this six millimeter out of there. Now there's our old rotor. So rusty old crusty, nasty old rotor. So we'll set that aside. Now I'm gonna take, like I said before, I'm gonna take my drill with the wire brush and I'm gonna clean the face of this wheel hub. That's it. You just want to knock all the rust off that, get it nice and smooth. And so we'll put our new rotor on. So you've got your five holes for your lugs. And then of course you've got the recessed hole uh, for the little bolt that holds the rotor on. Here's the hole for that. So we'll just line that up like so. And I'll take our little bolt. started there we go so we'll come back and tighten that once we get everything put together uh, once we have the brakes all put back together where we can apply pressure to the brake pedal uh, to grip the caliper so we can tighten this better than that uh, ideally, you don't want to get you know a lot of greasy fingerprints, that kind of thing, on here. Uh, we do have brake clean. We're going to go back and clean all this before it's all final assembly and put back together. So, so our next move is going to be to put the caliper bracket back on. I use uh, blue Loctite. It's the medium. It's designed to uh, come off. It's not a permanent thread locker. So we'll take some of that and we'll just put a little bit, you don't have to go nuts with this stuff. Yeah, just a little bit. That's actually probably a little bit too much. Just a little bit on the bolt. Get our bracket lined back up. Got that bolt started. <clears throat> pictures of all this stuff before you take it apart or as you're taking it apart. That way you can remember how it all goes back together. You want to make sure this is good and tight. I even like to put it back on with the breaker bar. I don't know what the torque spec is on this, but. Just give it a little nudge with the breaker bar. So our next step is we want to compress this piston back in because the piston is out 
uh, because as the brake pads wear, it's just gonna stay out further and further and further. So when you put new thick pads in, you gotta remember that they're gonna be thicker than the old pads you took off, so you gotta compress this back in. And the way I do that is with a simple, uh, just like a clamp that you would use to clamp two pieces of wood together. Put that on there, nice and straight across. Uh, you can also use like a C-clamp, like a screw clamp. Uh, sometimes I use one of those, I couldn't find it, so I just grabbed this. So we'll just slowly try to do this with one hand. Okay, so that one was a little stubborn. The other side went really easy. So, but anyway, got it done. So I'm going to push these pins out here. These are the pins that hold the caliper to the bracket, to the caliper bracket here. I like to put a little grease on these. <clears throat> so. Just be careful, this rubber's old. You don't wanna force anything and tear rubber. You can't just go buy, buy parts like this just at the local auto parts store. So that's it. That's where your seven millimeter Allen head goes in. So I'm gonna pull these out, put a little bit of grease on them here, put them back in, and then put we'll put our new pads in, and then we'll put it back on the bracket. So here are the pins, and I just put a little bit of you don't want to get crazy with this stuff. Just a little bit of grease on them. Just kind of smear it around on there. Down towards the end. So that's all there is to that. So here's everything ready to go back on. I've got those pins back in. I've got them just not sticking through all the way, but you can see the end. Got our new pads in, and then I'm gonna try to film this, hopefully I can, uh, sliding the caliper back on. There we go, that wasn't too bad. So then we'll push our pins in. Get those threading in. Get our seven millimeter Allen wrench or Allen socket. Okay, before we get those tightened up, I'm gonna put our clip in. There we go, there's some good line. So yeah, we'll just screw that in. Get the other one down here. All right, you want those snug, but you don't want to strip them out either. So, again, I don't know what the torque spec is on that. I'm just going on experience. So we want to make sure that we don't forget to tighten our six millimeter Allen head. Uh, if you're not putting drilled rotors on your car, uh, you're gonna have to uh, apply some brake pressure from the inside. You can have somebody do it for you. Or, now that I've got these slotted rotors here, I can stick something in there and use that to hold the rotor still. All right. And we'll just roll that back. There we go. And I'm going to clean that sticker off with the razor blade. I'm gonna use brake clean and I'm gonna clean all the, the front of this rotor and the rear of the rotor. And then we'll put the wheels on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, before I put everything, the wheels back on, like I said before, don't forget these caps. You wanna put those caps in, that rubber boot. And that just keeps dirt out of that Allen head. So keeps it out of the Allen head and then it also keeps it out of this, this mechanism where the caliper floats back and forth. So that's important. Don't forget to do that. 
All right, so that's a wrap for this video. Just got back from the test drive. Everything seems to be working fine. Uh, stops a little bit better, I think. I mean, it's not, you know, a 14-inch Brembo kit or anything like that. Uh, but stops really well. I'm really happy with, uh, you know, the outcome. So with that being said, I mean, I know this isn't a huge performance upgrade, but, you know, the car needed some brakes, and uh, why not have a little fun and uh, upgrade it a little bit while doing so. So I hope the instructional part was good. I hope everybody learned something. If you were looking uh, for how to put brakes on a car like this or on an E36, I hope I gave you enough information. And uh, anyway, so uh, please like the video. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Please share the video. Uh, if you know anybody that's into these kind of cars, uh, turn them onto my channel. I'd appreciate it. And uh, Anyway, that's a wrap. I'm going to get inside, clean the garage up a little bit, and uh, get in some air conditioner. It's August, and it's Texas, and it's hot. So thanks for watching the video. Again, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.